This is my new Ecola Blue atmospheric water generator that I just purchased. It's going to go along with my other emergency equipment. I thought I would need this with all the droughts we've been having and it's going to get worse and you might turn off the water. Who knows what's going to happen. Water's going to get scarce so I want to make sure we have a supply of water. This um, particular Ecola Blue 30 will produce around 8 gallons a day of drinkable water by just taking the moisture out of the atmosphere. It's got five different filters that it goes through. The first one it goes through is the sediment filter, then a pre-carbon filter, a membrane, mineral filter to put the minerals back into the water after it goes through the reverse osmosis filter, and a post-carbon. It also has three UV lights that kills all the bacteria and viruses in the water. The water comes out absolutely crystal clear, beautiful tasting water. On the control panel here you can see it produces cold water. It'll chill the water. I have it set for 57. It'll also produce hot water. And it's set at 203 degrees which is pretty hot. Relative humidity right now is 38 percent. It needs around 45 to produce the most water in a day. And on the switch on the above on the above left, that little looks like a clock that tells you how much water is in the lower tank. Then this one over here tells you how much is in the upper tank. And when that little fan in the middle is spinning, it's it's pumping water from the lower tank through the filters up to the top tank. And this is pretty cool. This is going to go into my emergency equipment, just in case droughts get worse and the water shortages. People won't have any water when they turn the taps on. This is a pretty handy piece of equipment to have. It's kind of expensive. It cost me $1,400, but well, I guess when you need water, it's going to be worth it. I, I, I'm going to um, go ahead and plug it in a couple days. I just have it on this to test it out so I know how to work it. And so far, it's working beautifully. I'm really happy with it. It's got a compartment right here on each side. You can put some cups in there. That's a spare filter they gave you. Same on this side. You put some paper cups or something in there. It takes kind of a lot of electricity though. I have been I have it, it plugged into my um kilowatts because how much it's taken. Just sitting there it's taking 23 watts. No, excuse me, that's 2.3 watts. But when it's pumping water, it goes around 400 400 watts. But when it's producing water and heating the water, it can go up to 800 900 watts. But that's only when the water is being heated because that heating element takes a lot of electricity. But normally it's around 380 400 watts and it's running. But I'm pretty happy that my generator will run this with no problem, so it's no problem at all. But there you go, that's the Colo Blue 30. Well worth the money.